This is, what I hope to be a short one, a tutorial on migrating most of your Source Filmmaker Workshop subscriptions over to Blender. Uh, particles cannot be ported, unfortunately, and it pains me very much to say that because if I knew how to port them I would, but the best we have is geometry nodes and recreating them with that. But let's not get too sidetracked. There are seven things you need to do this thing. That is Blender 4.0. I don't know, I just recommend it because there's a lot of breakage. I, I say just to use 4.0. The latest version of Source.io, my version of the plumber porting tool, unless Lhasa01 has released 1.0.2, in which case use that version instead of mine. The porting tools that I wrote, BSP Source, the Source Engine Blender Collection, three things about that by the way real quick. If you already had the TF2 archive installed, reinstall it because I pushed out a big change. Second thing, make sure you have the mapper models and mapper materials JSON files because you need that for this whole thing to work. Make sure you have those for the respective games. And the last thing, if you don't already have it installed, the only archives you need are Team Fortress 2 and Half-Life 2, and maybe Portal 2, but anything else, you don't need to download. And the seventh thing, a script that I wrote for merging assets embedded into maps with your workshop folder. Now, before we can even open Blender, there are some preparations we need to perform. First of all, in your copy of the Source Engine Blender collection, make a new folder for Source Filmmaker and title it Source Filmmaker. It is within this folder you will place the porting tools and everything we'll need to migrate. Secondly, with BSP Source, we are going to decompile all our maps in the uh, workshop folder to somewhere else in your drive. So workshop, maps, get all the BSP files, drag and drop them into here. In the other tab, enable extract embedded files. Hit decompile, go anywhere on your computer and reserve a folder to decompile the BSP files into, we're going to name this Source Filmmaker, and decompile into there. Now with that script that I was talking about earlier, we're going to use that to take out the extracted assets from the maps and merge them with the workshop folder leaving nothing behind. Uh, if you don't have Python or VS Code installed, I guess you can use Blender's text editor. Paste the script in here. In this game variable, we're going to set the string to our workshop directory, which is here. We're going to copy that, paste it in the string. I already have it set up, but you know. And the root directory variable, we're going to set that to where we decompiled our VMF file or BSP files. Copy that directory and paste it here and run the script. Okay, with executing that script, that means the extracted assets are now merged with the workshop folder. Now, before we start porting, there is one last thing we have to do, and that is with the plumber tool. If you hadn't installed that already, install it now. By default, it will not automatically detect Source Filmmaker as a game definition, so we have to add that. Add a new one, Source Filmmaker. And then we have to add a bunch of search paths. Uh, that's the wrong one. Workshop folder is a search path. App uh, 2 Half-Life, that's a search path. I don't think we need to do Portal 2. So I'm just, I'm just gonna leave that out. We have now added Source Filmmaker as a game definition so we can uh, save the preferences. And let's start porting. Open models porter.blend. You have two parameters here, but we're only gonna focus on this one. The models folder. In this models folder parameter, we're going to set that to the workshop models directory, which I already have set. Leave the scale as is. Step one is creating the catalogs, which you can do just by pressing create catalogs. And you can see here we have all of our catalogs, folders for the models that they will soon be in. Before we start porting, make sure you have set the game definition to Source Filmmaker, the one we just added. Before running, ensure that you have the console open to monitor progress. Open, or is that this one? I don't know, it's one of those two. You have created catalogs for the assets. Check. You have set the models folder and asset save path. Also check. Okay, and now it's gonna start porting. Look at that, baby. I must be retarded, the way these hoes think I'm special. If you want to track the progress, you can open a new instance of Blender and set it to the asset browser. Just set it to Source Filmmaker. We can see... I don't know how they got there. Dude, I swear, I don't know. I don't know how that... <laughs> I don't know how they got there. How did they get there? Bongo pod? Yeah. 
Bungo Pond. Yeah. How did that get there? You put it there. Because I didn't put that there. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I didn't put. Yeah, you did. I didn't put that there. Yes, you did. I have never subscribed to anything My Little Pony. Yes, you I've did. never. I've never seen as so much as a My Little Pony. I'm not. I, I think you put that there. I think you're a brownie, probably. You're framing me. No. You're framing me. No. You are framing me. Just say it. No. I do you, that's not the worst part. Do you want? Do you want to know what the worst part is? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't even look that good. Yeah. But you know what the worst part is? <laughs> <laughs> After a few minutes, they're all ported. Look at that. <gasps> My Source Filmmaker Workshop folder uh, models has been ported to Blender. Yay! <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay. Materials porter. I am the worst person for tutorials. Oh my goodness. Uh, same parameters, except this is materials folder. Set that to workshop materials. D the directory. Create catalogs. Now, before we start batch porting, we have to go to the scene properties and under source IO configuration, we have to add our own mounted resources. So go to the workshop folder and click add new resource. Then remove any entries ending in dir or dot blend. Dir dot blend. Now we can save it and start batch porting. Wonderful. Again, we can view the progress by going to a new instance of Blender and just watching somebody scored. It's going pretty well so far. No pink materials. If they're pink, that means bad. But seems okay so far. With the models and materials now having been ported, we can move on to the maps. Open maps porter blend. This time there are three parameters to set. First of them being VMF maps folder, where we decompiled our BSP files into here. BSP maps folder, uh, the workshop maps directory of the SFM workshop. Workshop maps. And lastly, the source engine blender collection folder path. Again, this is for reusability. You don't have to have it, but I highly recommend that you do. And with all those parameters set, make sure our game is set to Source Filmmaker. And now we can start porting. I'm gonna save it in this state and start porting. The terminal, console. Oh. Huh, okay. There are workshop subscriptions that I'm missing, but that doesn't mean it's not working. It just means I'm an idiot and didn't subscribe to everything I was supposed to. Yeah, it's working. As you can see in the Mesh Data tab, we are reusing the assets we just ported, which is really going to help bring down the final save size for the maps. Oh, it's done. I think. It's done, right? Yes, it is. We have now ported all the maps. And just look at that recycling. Oh, that's good. I'm pretty sure that's it, and I have covered everything I need to cover. I don't know if you can hear my voice dying out, so I think I'm going to stop talking now. Uh, don't forget everything I've taught you in the Source Engine Blender Collection video, because all the map tools that I showed in there are also in here. My goodness, they are useful. Okay, I think that's it. Goodbye. Uh, I'm going to leave.